<laughs> so what is the secret to viral success? Laurel Papworth is a social media and marketing expert and the author of the book, Social Media Revenue, and she joins us now. Good morning to you, Laurel. Nice to see Hello. you. Sai was, uh, you know, relatively obscure. He was a South Korean pop star, but no one outside of there had really heard of him until Gangman came along. Uh, why has he become such a hit? Were you surprised at that? On one hand, I'm surprised because it's unusual for videos like that to jump outside of cultural boundaries. Mm -hmm. um, but it's so catchy that, of course, it did. Um, and on the other hand, he's done all the right things with making a hit go viral. He made fun of himself. He's passionate about what he does. It's quirky. He got key influences involved, including a talk show host is in the clip as well, a Korean talk show host. Oh, okay. So, you can always go and join someone's video if you yes. have. <laughs> um, and he just did a lot of the right things and it's very catchy, so yeah. yeah. Okay, so if we're looking at that going, I want to do that, how do we ensure, are they the ingredients for success? I mean, you just listed them. Is there, an, what else do we need to do? What else do you need to do? Uh, besides, I think, don't make it too polished. Don't make it too serious. You know, lots of companies go to agencies and say, can you make my ad go viral? Um, but it's mm. always too polished. It's got to be, and it's got to be copyable, repeatable. So I'm sure that there are lots of people around the world who get up and dance Gangnam style at parties. Yeah. And if you want to do that right now, feel free to do that. Yeah. No, we've already oh. done it. We've been there, done that. Uh, we, I don't know what sort of shows you've been watching, but we don't dance. Um, uh, how much can you make with this viral hit? We're talking about those talking oranges with a billion hits, mm. right, so, and, and millions of dollars. So how much? We're looking at a shift at the moment where people used to put their content up online for free and now of course uh, people who are doing that are saying well where's my share? So YouTube shares its revenue with its, uh, the people who create content on there. Yeah. Um, that fellow, uh, Sai, made um, well probably only about a million or two million from YouTube ads themselves right. but all the other stuff that comes with that, the sponsorship deals, the effect that it's had on his father's semiconductor company which is worth another 52 million dollars <laughs> since the video. You know this is the reason why we get stars to sponsor our products yeah. is because they can drive traffic and we want to co-brand with them but now we're looking not only at normal celebrities we're looking at Celebrities, Twitter celebrities, and we're looking at right. YouTube celebrities. So it's right. a whole new world out yeah, there. Because yeah. you're saying Facebook and even LinkedIn, you can earn cash. Mm -hmm. How? Well, on Facebook, you can set up a shopping cart um, that uses Facebook credits, which is Facebook's own currency. So if you, anybody can create a Facebook page and put a shopping cart on there and start to sell things. And also, I guess, um, they can sell other people's products. They don't have mm. to make their own. They can sell anything from Amazon and eBay and get a clip of each sale. All right. Everyone wants to have a crack at this. Everyone's got the iPhone now. They can film and, and download and upload and all that sort of thing. What do we need to know before we try and turn into social media success stories? Okay. Rule number one is don't spam your friends and family. You might think you've made the funniest video on in the world or the video of your kids doing something silly is great, yeah. but don't keep emailing and Facebooking them to look at the video and asking them to tell their friends about it. You know, social spam is a big issue now. It's not just the professionals that do spam. It's your brother and mm. sister and your kids yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. Um, what else? I would also say, you know, make sure that you're not breaking copyright, that the music that you're using is your own. You can't even have the radio on in the background on a YouTube video. They will take that video down. So there's quite a few different things that you need to do. Um, I guess if you want to stay safe in this environment where you're uh, promoting your video mm. but not to the degree that you're hurting somebody else. Yeah, sure. All right, interesting Thank stuff. You, Plenty of people interested in that. Thank you very much. Good to see you.